发现谚语 Discovery proverbs. 谚语展现语言之美与智慧之妙。熟读谚语七百首，不会作诗也能闻。Proverbs present the beauty of language and the wonder of wisdom. He that reckons without his host must reckon twice. 不考虑东家主食，要多加琢磨。相似、相关或相反的中文谚语及俗语。自作主张。Anderson said, "Let's rearrange the family room and make it more comfortable for us to relax." Austin said. He that reckons without his host must reckon twice. Mom puts her stuff in various corners in the family room, and you don't want to mess them up. I think we better talk to her first. An hour in the morning is worth two in the evening. 早晨的一小时抵得上晚间的两小时。相似。相关或相反的中文谚语及俗语。一日之计在于晨，早起三朝当一公。早起的鸟儿有虫吃。Similar, related, or antonymous sayings. The muses love the morning. The morning hour has gold in its mouth. The early bird catches the worm. Mom said, "You should go to bed now. Otherwise, you won't be able to get up early tomorrow." Anderson said, "What's the point of getting up early tomorrow? It's Saturday. I don't have to go to school." Mom said, "You have homework assignments from each class for the weekend. You should start early so that you won't drag it to the evening." Remember, an hour in the morning is worth two in the evening. Burn not your house to frighten the mouse away. 不要为了吓跑老鼠而把房子烧掉。相似、相关或相反的中文谚语及俗语，得不偿失，因小失大。Similar, related, or antonymous sayings. Spare the spigot. And let it out at the bunghole. Penny wise and dollar foolish, pound foolish. Spoil the ship for a half penny worth of tar. Samuel said, "The sunlight is strong and hot on me. Let's move to another place." Alan said, "No. This is the best spot to watch the deer." Anderson said, "The sunlight is not a big deal. Let's not burn not our house to frighten the mouse away. We can find some branches with thick leaves to cover us from the sunlight, and they can also be our camouflage." 谢谢观赏 Thank you for watching.